Hello everybody, my name's Brett, and welcome to another episode of Topo Ranger. We are in Wrightsville today, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to go to a place where I did a, uh, an episode where I actually discovered some ruins kind of embedded in the side of a Kreitz Creek, inside of the creek wall, just as the creek goes right into the Susquehanna. And I figured out at the time what what that was. I figured out it was a sawmill. I forget what the name was. But the creek was a little bit too deep for it to go across that day. So I thought, well, why don't I come back, come at it from the other side, and maybe we can just walk up the creek and then slide right down and move right on top of the ruins. There's a big old piece of the diabase, I think, right there. And it's very hot today. It's 95. The heat index with the humidity is supposed to feel like 105, which is, <laughs> which is really way just too hot for me personally, unless I'm doing something in the water. 105, that's too, way too hot. I get heat exhaustion. And there are some canal ruins down here right at the uh, right at the exact spot where the creek empties out in the river. So we'll go hit those up too. It's a fishing spot I kind of came across a while ago. There's the river. Some piles of stuff. Macadam, chipped up macadam. I use that as fill or something. River, creek. See how it's meeting at that point? First, I'm gonna take you to the, to the ruins, which are right up here. All right, so this is Kreitz Creek. It's written on the ma modern maps as Kreutz. It looks like Kreutz Creek, but it's originally was Kreitz Creek. Whoa, we got a tree down. Oh, it's one of those, it's another one of those, um, that was on the cover of the one we did recently with the green iridescent head. We have a, that's a pretty sizable tree down. It's blocking the creek here. So it's somewhat backed in by the river, meaning the river is backing up in here, but not too much. I can see some blocks down there and where we're gonna wanna go is up there, you know, the, you know, it would be the best thing would to have a kayak right here and just shoo. What if we just came back with the kayak and put it in and just came down from where we just parked and then took the kayak up here, which would actually be kind of nice because this is a nice, so this would look nice. Let's go down here and check this out. Another thing I wanted to point out at this location was that back in the canal days when they, uh, when the canal, the beginning of the uh, Susquehanna Tidewater Canal, the Pennsylvania part of it was right here at Wrightsville. And they had a big, uh, the first feeder dam, that is the dam which stretched across the river and made the river get deeper behind the dam in order to, f then the canal can then funnel off that extra water to actually put water in the canal. The feeder canal was right there and you can still see it. Right here, you can see there's a, a rocky, little rocky islands with vegetation growing on it. If you're coming over the, the Wrightsville Columbia Bridge there, the Veterans Bridge, you can really see it. It stands out. It's quite dramatic. That's the remnants of the feeder dam. So that this was, I would imagine this was all backed up. I, I would be on, maybe I'd be underwater right now. Oh man, I'm starting to sweat. It does feel like 105 now. And you can see it's kind of a, kind of a gunky, swampy, area right here where there's a whole bunch of this stuff matted down look at this wet swampy gunky all right let's go back here into the actual ruins which are where are they okay well actually here they are right here <laughs> this block right here here's another one. Oh, here it is right here okay the ruins here there's not much of them they're all basically right here i think that block would be one you know, the water here is almost clear enough that you could snorkel in here. And I bet you there's, I bet you there's underwater ruins here, right here. Beneath my feet is the main chunk. So I'm standing on a wall about 10, 15 feet above the creek level right now. This is basically the big chunk right here. But like I said earlier, I feel like there might be a chance of some underwater ruins here. Whoa, jeez. 
Oh yeah, look at this. This whole thing right here is all big, big chunks, big blocks. Look at this one right here. These are all just big limestone hand-hewn blocks from the canal days. I'm standing on one here. And you can really tell by the, the corners. The corners really stick out. And they extend about, you know, 40 feet up that way. Look at that under there. It's unfortunate this tree has fallen because it's really, it's really quite big and underwater it probably spreads out here. And what that's gonna do is that's just gonna catch stuff. You know, as you have storms and debris comes down, it's just gonna catch here. It's gonna build up here. And eventually, I mean, it could raise the creek level if enough gunk gets under here. Let's walk up along the upriver bank of the Kreitz Creek and just see how far we can go before we hit something that blocks us. See there, you can clearly see the bottom all along here. It's probably only three, four feet deep. And then it starts getting deep right down there. And now remember, this used to be a kind of a industrial zone back in the 18, in the, you know, in the 1800s. I would imagine there's probably all kinds of objects, stone stuff, and who knows what else is, uh, is laying at the bottom of this creek right here. If you go back and watch the original episode where I come here and I, I park, I park along the street and I come down and I'm on the other side of the bank. I actually, in that episode, I actually find one of those old cast iron uh, school desks from the 1800s. The sides of them were cast in iron and then they put the wood and uh, I think they were all cast iron, but it's, it was over there on that bank. Oh, here's a little spot here. Let's check this out. I think I filmed a snake in that episode too. Um, but that's an old, that's, that episode is probably from three years ago. Uh, but go check that out and you'll see what I'm talking about when I'm talking about these sawmill ruins. Maybe the thing to do... Wow, look at some of these. Some of these sycamores are just big. I can see something right there. Man, look at these. Look at these sycamores here. These are, these are large trees. And look at the roots. Maybe the thing to do would be to just come here with a mask, snorkel, and fins and just get in the water and just snorkel around. This, would, this spot right here would make it actually a good spot to do that. It goes right down into water that's, you know, three, four feet deep. I can't see the bottom out there though, so I'm wondering how, how deep it is. It might be four or five, Six feet deep maybe I don't know see now I'm curious and since the river is dropping the brown river water is kind of getting flushed out by the cold creek water coming from uh, the con what some people call the Conestoga Valley the York Valley it's the same valley that goes over here Wrightsville Columbia into York uh, sorry into Lancaster County it's that same topographic valley but that's where all this water comes from can't really see it right here, but it's a nice sized creek because it's kind of slack water. And here's another spot right here. See, last time I was here, I didn't see all this stuff. Now here the water's looking kind of yunky. Or should I say gucky? Gunky and yucky together. What is that thing? Let's go up here. What have we here, everybody? But a nice big tree we can walk out on. Oh yeah, look at that. It is moving though. I am uh, heavy enough to move it. That's going towards the river. That's up the creek, up Kreitz Creek. That looks like some kind of pontoon. I 
There you can see it's getting much clearer now. And there is a trail here. I don't see any, no trespassing signs. Oh, look at that. Yeah, the creek's looking nice now. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. Yeah. Fish, I'm seeing all kinds of fish. I think I got a little bit of a ways to go before I hit the, the ruins. I think the ruins are up there, way beyond that bend, so. For right now, I'm gonna end this episode right here because I got, uh, I didn't have a lot of time today. I just wanted to come down here and look at this, kind of get an eye for it, because it's 105 or 95, 105 with the heat index. Woo! It's just too hot to do anything out here. But I think we got a nice idea of information, showed you the ruins, we got a nice, I think we have a, a fun episode we could shoot right up here to go see those sawmill ruins and investigate them a little bit more closely than we did in the previous episode. Like I said, again, go check out that episode. I don't know which one it is offhand. I'll put it on, I'll put the cover on the screen right now uh, and go check that out. You can actually kind of see what I'm talking about. For now, if you had a good time, make sure you hit subscribe, ring my bell, follow me on all the platforms, right? This is Brett for Topa Ranger. I'll see you next time.